Hey, Keller Williams, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer here. Guess what? It's time to add some context into command. So before we add context, I want you to think about what you want to categorize your contacts as. And we are going to categorize all of our contacts using tags. So get logged into command. Let's head on over to our settings. And let's go to command settings, contacts, contact tags. Now there's a lot of tags already in here, but there's some that you may need to put in. So one that I've done is I call my sphere, my SOI, and I added that as a tag and I made it a different color. See, SOI already exists. That's my sphere. Um, also, you may want to add um, your market center agents so you can contact them as a tag. I put KWP for Keller Williams Premier because that's where my uh, brokerage is here. So at Keller Williams Premier, I can tag everyone that works here so I know that they all work at Keller Williams Premier. So anything that you might want to do, you can put uh, buyers and sellers are already in there. You can put sphere. I've made one called Christmas card because I want to tag everyone that I want to send a Christmas card to. And the amount of tagging you can do is endless. I mean, you really can categorize and organize these contacts like crazy. So once you've done that and you've got all the tags in there that you want, we are going to go back over to the contacts tab on the very left hand side and then we are going to click add contact and then from here you can type in all the information you might need email phone number And then you want to scroll down and click through here and add tag. So if this person's an agent, you want to click anything that you might want to organize this person by. And just keep on tagging and tagging. There's no amount of tagging that is going to unorganize you. That is for sure. So then if you have this information, go ahead and put it in now. An additional email, additional phone numbers, street addresses, um, social profiles, add all that if you have the information. If not, work on getting it. And then here you can add their legal name, their birthday, their home anniversary, if they're married or if you know the name of their father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister, child, cousin, grandma, or other business partner. I mean, you can just put so many relationships in there, which is good to keep track of. Because I know sometimes people with kids, you can't remember their name. So you definitely want to get those in here. So once you have that information in there, then anything else you can that you might track, you can add a custom field here and put what you want. So let's say you're, you can add that as a custom field. Um, or if, let's scratch that. What I meant to say was if their kid had a birthday that you wanted to remember. So you could say child's birthday and you can make it a date field or a text field whichever one you think then click done and you've got it there so month day year child's birthday and then once you're done with all of this entering of this contact then just click create and the contact goes in your database there's one more way you can add a contact and that is to click on this import button right here and once you do you're going to want to click this blue download button and download the pre-made CSV 
that is correctly formatted in order to import your contacts. Your contacts need to go into this spreadsheet exactly how it is. And all the fields in the spreadsheet must be text fields in order for this to upload correctly into command. Otherwise, you're going to get an error message. So let me show you. I have one already that I've already filled out. It is import here. And I'm, this one might be the wrong one. So you'll see what it looks like when we get an error message. Something went wrong. And this was because I didn't have all of the fields correctly or something like that. I can't remember what I did wrong in that one. But anyway, the correct one will go through. Let me show you. And let's see. Here we go. We're going to import these contacts. And something still went wrong. What is going on? All right, y'all. Third time's a charm. Let's see if this will actually upload. And I think what I was doing is I was trying to upload contacts that were already there. It may give me another error again. <gasps> That's it! I had contacts that were already in there that were being submitted and now I don't. So anyway, once you get it right and your contact's not already in there that you're trying to import, then it will uh, upload for you. Anyway, if you have a problem with that, just make sure you reach out with me to me and I can help you get that going. So once you've got your contacts in there, you're good to go to the next step, but that's not till next time. So talk to you soon. Have a great day. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.